to be honest with you, yeah, I think brokers are killing the market. How much do you think they're taking? Some people are like, oh, they oh, man. You think so? Oh, yeah. From the car they're, haulers, how much they taking? They're making the same or more, to be honest with you. They, 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 you think killing. that's fair? Oh, no, not at all. They I honestly think I'm still in business because of the customers that I have, you know. Direct customers? Direct customers. So you recommend for anybody <clears throat> in any type of trucking always have direct customers? Oh yeah, absolutely, because brokers are killing everybody. Just want to do a quick PSA for you guys. So anyone want to park in South Florida, there's not a lot of parking. You know, you got to go to the uh, service plazas or you got to park at the shipper if they let you. Uh, the 595 has parking, but it is paid parking. Uh, one thing truck drivers have been doing is they've been parking on the side right here. And if you park for a little bit, you're going to be okay, right? But I just want to show you guys this. Uh, they are giving out tickets to truck drivers that park overnight. It is hit or miss, so I'm just letting you guys know. You know, they just don't have enough dang truck parking across America. But especially in South Florida, they don't. So if you are gonna park over here, just remember, uh, park at your own risk. Uh, you know, there are signs that say no parking anytime that you can see right here. But I just wanna show you guys, you know, cause I just saw a truck driver have right in their uh, door, it looks like a parking ticket. So just want you guys to know. You know, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And so, see this one right here. So they are, yep. Giving people parking tickets. Hey, I'll tell you one thing you got that I don't got. Um, I got no damn hair. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So you got that. So, I'm getting there, though. Yeah, nah, man. <laughs> you know, so how long you been trucking, brother? For myself, about six years. Six years? Yeah. How long you been trucking in total? Uh, back and forth, about eight years. Yeah? Yeah. Um, you love it? You regret it? I regret it. Really? Oh, yeah. You know, you should have. What would your mom want you to be? <laughs> <laughs> she wanted me to be a doctor. That's, <laughs> that didn't like even happen, bro. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. 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 Um, but, uh, well, yeah, about six years ago, I started, you know, my own company, uh, my own yeah. trucks. Yeah. Car hauling. Car hauling? Yeah. How many trucks you got now? Uh, I have two. Two? But, uh, I had more, but I'm, I'm downsizing. I'm gonna be selling one more truck. Oh, yeah? I'm gonna be myself for rent for a while. So how uh, how many <clears throat> trucks did you have total at one point? Four. Four? Yeah. So what's the recommendation? If you got four, go to one? Yeah. Less is more. Less and more in this yeah. market? Oh, yeah. Uh, car car hauling, more. worth it? Because, you know, people always say, you know, <sighs> get into specialty. It is. It's, it's not bad, to, to be honest with you. I think it's better than... Uh, any, anything else out there uh -huh. um, for trucking? Because right right now, I mean, to be honest with you, yeah, I think brokers are killing the market. How much do you think they taking? Some people are like, oh, they take a load, man. You think so? Oh yeah. From the car they're, haulers, how much they taking? They're making the same or more. To be honest with you, they, they, you think killing, that's fair? Oh no, not at all. They they don't have anything. They don't have insurance. So you they think they're taking like fifty percent or more? Oh yeah, sometimes. Not all the time, but they are. Man. They're killing it. So, Big time. They're dropping their prices like crazy. So you think that the, the shippers we'll give we'll give an example. Just say you're you're doing a drop from New York to here or something like that. They just say the shipper pays how much on average for a load like that? I seen uh, a lot of uh, customers pay somewhere between eleven hundred to 13, 1400, depending per, on per car, right? Per car, yeah. And how much are they taking? They're taking, you know, 50% or more on that. Damn! They're, they're, oh, yeah. They're posting, like, they're posting cars for, like, 600 bucks, 500. I've seen they posting cars for 350 Are you bucks. serious? I swear to God. I'll open up right now, Centra, and I'll show you. Look. All right, show From Massachusetts, 350, 400 bucks. 
And you're saying for sure that's like 800 to 1,000. Oh if yeah. The, if the well, customer was paying. I mean, it varies, it depends. Um, but I see, like I talk to the customers, you know, and I don't, I don't pick up loads that cheap, but I, I, there's a lot of guys out there that's taking them and I don't know how they're staying in business. Like they're, so, they, so one part would you say like the brokers are ruining it because they're charging so much, but another part is the, the drivers. I seen, you know, I, I, I seen because they take it for so low. Yeah. They, they, they're killing everybody out there, you know, um, Montway is doing it. They, they're, th they're doing third parties like if you call them it's it's rare occasion that you'll talk to a, like an American or something like that there's a lot of like Indians and stuff like that Some right now yeah on. there's a lot of them and they're they're killing it and you it, it must piss you off with like just say you you take a load some of them they, don't even speak English you try talking to them and they and you can't even understand them that sucks you know and um and now and now they're going all through like text message and stuff like that sometimes they don't even understand you it's 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 i talk to the customers like I, for example going back from here to, to massachusetts they're yeah. dropping the car the price is like crazy too they're treating you treating us like, like they don't need us and there's a lot of guys out there that's moving cars from here to like up north for like three four hundred bucks and they're they in business i don't know that's how, that's what i don't understand i don't know you know what's what's crazy and i'm sure this pisses you off is when you get to the customer and they're like man i paid fifteen hundred two thousand dollars for my car to get here right yeah yeah and yeah, then you're yeah. like man i gotta pay 500 bucks exactly you yeah know? i eat that happened to me before yeah. that happened and i'm like because we pay insurance just a, a tire alone on a truck it's like three four hundred bucks yeah you know brakes maintenance hoses everything else like everything is so expensive parts are going completely insane right now that's great you know fuel is up there too you know and i heard it's gonna get even worse so what's your recommendation for anyone that wants to get in the car hauling business don't <laughs> I got you, bro. this is not the time to be getting to it i'm trying to get out to be honest with you yeah. you gonna stay in trucking though or are you gonna do something nah, else I, I have other backgrounds that i've done it before I, yeah. you know um, that i've been thinking of going back to it but there's got to be a time when this comes back, though. I don't you think, think it's going to come... come well, yeah, probably. It will definitely, yeah. but not for a while. You might go you broke know? before then? Probably. <laughs> you know, probably. Yeah. So what's it's, your recommendation tough to right anyone now. that wants to become a car hauler or get into trucking? Wait on it? Or Wait on it. No. Some people well, recommend... I, honestly, drivers are making more money than the owners itself right now. Really? Yeah. You know, uh, so that's keeping it real. But you know, another thing too is, I see a lot of increase too in uh, drivers needing work. Yeah, I see a lot of that because uh, in the past uh, couple of years, it was tough to find drivers. Now, everybody's getting like calls. Like I, I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not looking for drivers, and I keep, I also get calls, but I don't want to mm -hmm. hire anybody. Right. I parked one of my trucks because because it's not working, and it's tough to find. Honestly, the way I look at it is like, before pandemic, I had good drivers. I could find good drivers. Yeah. Everybody really wanted to work. Yeah. After pandemic and this shit with the government giving free money and all. You mean the free money messed it up? I know for a fact it did because nobody really want to work hard. Mm. Nobody. Oh, it's, it's tough to find good drivers nowadays. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why I'm out. Like, oh, yeah. I, I don't want to deal with drivers. I'm doing it myself, taking care of my own customer. I honestly think I'm still in business because of the customers that I have, you know. Direct customers? Direct customers. So you recommend for anyone in any type of trucking always have direct customers? Oh, yeah, absolutely, because brokers are killing everybody. Uh -huh.